Oh, welcome, 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 everyone. Unity of Las Cruces Hybrid Sunday Service. My name is Reverend Jennifer Kleitz, and I am so grateful to be here and happy to be with everyone here in the sanctuary and those of you who have joined us on Zoom. Thank you, thank you so much. And our opening prayer this morning will be with Kay Brilliant, our prayer chaplain. Thank you, Jennifer, and welcome to Unity of Las Cruces, where we know that God is good all the time. Please join me in an opening prayer. Mother, Father, God, Great Spirit, we gather today together to offer gratitude and thanks for the many blessings we receive. We affirm your presence in our own spirits as we are one with God. I set my intention today for kindness and love and harmony. I send forth peace and joy and love. And as we are together today, we keep that in our hearts as we learn, as we remember, as we join together as one spirit. And we say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Kay. The spiritual reading this morning is on, from a daily word, 2019, authenticity. I am free to be my true self. Today, I may be called to fill many roles, parent, child, spouse, partner, friend, neighbor, co-worker, consumer, citizen, as I contemplate the unwavering power of infinite love, I understand that my true self, my authentic self, is divine. I am guided to speak and act for the highest and good of all concerned. I can express myself with courage and compassion. In strife, my words and actions bring forth peace reconciliation, and wholeness. In accord, my contribution is a magnet for joy and beauty and abundance. Trusting my authentic self, I allow the glory of the infinite to transform ordinary circumstances into magnificent possibilities. And now, some moments of gratitude. As we are so grateful that we are all here today, and every Sunday, and the things we do during the week, and those wouldn't happen without the people behind the scenes. Jane Ray, who does our social media for us and helps create these beautiful graphics that we put on the Facebook page and Instagram and all over the place so people know where we are and our wonderful music program that works every week to bring us beautiful, beautiful music for our services. Our volunteers during the week who help us with the book study and the Wednesday evening service, help counting on Sundays and bringing refreshments. We are so, so grateful. And those of you who give your time, talent, and treasure supporting Unity of Las Cruces as it grows and prospers, and our board of trustees that supports us and the ministry team, Reverend Helen and myself, we are so grateful. The vision that we have for Unity of Las Cruces to provide tools and resources, love and welcoming and understanding to the community around us and around the world. We are so, so grateful, so grateful. Thank you. And now we have good news. We have good news? We have good news. 
Just one moment. Dog missing for four months, rescued from snowy California hillside, reunited with the owner. Oh, how wonderful. Russ. Russ was found four months after going missing, curled up in a ball in the snow. The vet deemed him completely healthy. Look at that. This is back from January of this year. Uh huh. More information on the tanks could be used like that. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. We love those stories. We love those stories. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And who found him? Okay. Somebody spotted him. Mm -hmm. The rescue team, rescue team got him. Spotted him. Outstanding. And they found his person, and he was reunited with his person. He's That's get your children chipped. <laughs> and the four -legged one too. What's that? And the four -legged one. Yes. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Ken. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And now we will have our daily reading with Reverend Helen Wright. Good morning. So our daily word for today, Sunday, October 16th, 2022 is joy. Our affirmation, I delight in simple joys. Joy, it has been said, comes much more from wanting what we have than from having what we want. Reflecting on this thought, I embrace the simple joys that this day offers. I enjoy my morning coffee or tea, savoring its flavor and fragrance. Walking through my neighborhood, I greet friends, smile at people I haven't yet met, and enjoy the fresh air. I find satisfaction in taking care of my house working at my job or helping a friend. Even if I am not with them today, I feel joy as I think of my connections with the people I care about most. I know joy whenever I look for possibilities rather than focusing on problems. My greatest joy is my awareness that wherever I am, whatever I am doing, God is always with me. And from the scripture, Psalm 16, verse 11. You show me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And so I invite us just to say this affirmation again together. I delight in simple joys. And so it is. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Helen. Thank you. And our affirmation this week, our mission. If you'll say that with me together, Unity of Las Cruces welcomes and encourages all who are seeking spiritual growth through positive, practical Christianity. Thank you, thank you. The message this morning is, it's all God. It's all God. Everything, everything, everything. I was thinking about that as I was driving in this morning. And, and sometimes I feel like when I'm in my silence and in my meditation and contemplation and prayer, it's this personal conversation like a fireside chat with me and God, me and the I am. And it's so personal. And then I go out into the world and if I'm, when I'm in the presence, it is God everywhere. And it is so different to have that personal peace and then this immense everywhere there is God. And how often do we fall out of that as soon as we engage in the weak, the actions of the week or the actions of the day, um, the actions with uh, com interactions with other people, we forget for a time. However, God's always there. 
that great spirit is always there. We can forget about it and then come back and, and that divine presence is always there. And it is at the center of us. So we know it's always there. And this power that is omnipresent and it's all powerful and it's all knowing. And to feel that presence when we are in our true consciousness, our Christ consciousness, to feel that presence working in our bodies outward. And knowing that when we are, whatever we're doing, whether we're conscious of it or not, we are expressing our godness. We are always God. The practice of the presence of God by Brother Lawrence talks about that. When we're washing dishes, we are expressing as God. When we're at the grocery store, when we're sleeping, we're expressing as God. We cannot not be God. We cannot not be that great presence, that powerful energy that is love and life. Thomas Trower said, wherever the spirit is at all, the whole spirit must be. And we've heard, all heard that before. The fish doesn't know it's in the ocean. It just, that's its life, that's its existence, that's all it knows, and it doesn't really recognize that. Emily Cady said, God is the good of life coming into expression as life, love, and power. Mm -hmm. And so when we are expressing ourselves in our regular life, not just on Sunday, not just here, we are that God expression, and we are recognizing the God expression in others when we are in our presence and our consciousness. This past uh, month, in one of the classes I was taking, they broke out again consciousness, subconsciousness, superconsciousness. And what I gained from um, that teaching again this time is the difference in religious science they consider uh, superconscious is the one mind. And when we are conscious in our presence it's very uh, few times throughout the day usually we're walking talking doing our business however we're not conscious so getting into the practice of remembering that we are God expressing always it's not something you take off it's something you might forget about it is something that you might not have time for, but you're still God expressing. And as we use that power that we have within us, then we are able to bring more love and life and flow, positive flow, into our life expressing. There are times in our lives when it does not feel like we are God or that God is anywhere around. Mm -hmm. However, we are only seeing a small part of what's happening in the universe and beyond. You are the expression of the infinite creative process expressing itself as you. We see in part, but we may experience wholeness. Eric Butterworth talking about 1 Corinthians. We see in part, 
but we may experience wholeness. And that is our practice and our community to be with like-minded individuals so that we remember who we are. And so that it is not so often that we go away from our practice, our spirituality, and that when we know God is everywhere and we are that, we can call on that and go into that silence and meet with that personal God for comfort. For answers. And it strengthens our faith. In those times when we are not our most godly selves, there is grace. We are all works in progress. I am a huge work in progress. <laughs> and I continue to do my spiritual practice so that I have the tools and I can remember when I am challenged that God is everywhere and I am God. I am the I am. That spiritual, beautiful love that is everywhere present. Close your eyes for just a moment and imagine yourself in your silence, sitting there, and there's this little fire going. You're in a comfy chair, and there is another chair. And right in that chair, there is that spirit, divine God presence. Just you and God. And as you are in your silence and you are contemplating joy, some wonderful thing that happened, and sharing that with that God presence sitting there right with you. Or you have a challenge. You're feeling hurt right now. That God presence is sitting right there sending out love and comfort. You can almost feel the hug or the pat on the back, whatever makes you feel comfortable, however it is for you. Sit in that presence. I invite you to continue these practices of being with that personal God. And when you go out into the world and encounter others, there is God all around you. What you can feel, what you can see, what you can taste. God is present in everything. My husband and I have a practice of blessing our meal that we have together in the evenings. And we think about all of the people who have been involved in putting that meal on the table. And having our plate and our cups and our silverware. who picked the vegetables that went to the market, and what young man or young woman at the store put those uh, vegetables out 
into the area so that we could buy them. And the clerk in the store who helped us pay for the groceries so we could bring them home, who provided the propane for our gas stove so we could heat them up. There is so much. Your food would grow cold if you thought about it all long enough. <laughs> but it's all God. These people are God. The, the food is God. The energy is God. It is all God. And it is all good. No matter the appearance. Remember to tack that on. No matter the appearance. No matter what it looks like. It's all good and it's all God. And to take the deep breath in just a few times during the day and remember. Remember the goodness that surrounds you. That is, is you. Is you. Don't forget. It's not that it just goes around Kim, but it's not Kim. It is Kim. It's Dorothy. It's Reverend Helen. It's Kay. It's everyone. It penetrates us. It is ourselves. There is no spot where God is not. And in the beautiful music, those notes that bring us joy. And that could be a whole nother exercise of thanksgiving for the people who wrote the notes. If you're not like a wonderful like Doug and write your own, who created music, who created the piano made all the parts for the piano. It is awesome. To think of the God energy that is behind everything we know with our five senses and what we know with our sixth sense. that peace that allows us to contemplate the beyond, what's on the other side of the veil, those beings no longer in their physical form. How wonderful that God experience through us in this physical form. I was thinking about this on the way in today too, that there are so many things that I'm not able to do when I'm not in my physical form. I can't really give and receive hugs or handshakes. I can't really have a wonderful conversation. I can't have a wonderful meal. I love good meals. Those things that we're not able to do if we're not in our physical form. And how precious that is so that we can experience our perfect health as God beings. So that we can have the highest and best experience as we are expressing as God. I wouldn't be able to hear the beautiful music as well. It'd be easier to get from point A to point B, but other than that, <laughs> I love my life. I love my life experience here. I talk to some people and they're like, oh, I can't wait to go. No. And I, wanna, I don't want to come back. Oh, no, no, no. We have lots of things to do, lots of things to do. So much to do and all the time in the world. Because we are God expressing. And as we incorporate that and know that to the very fiber of our being, the very, very, very inside of ourselves, as we know that, it is a bigger and brighter and more beautiful experience that we express that God love to ourselves and to everyone in the world.
and the universe and beyond. I invite you next week, if you have a few minutes between this appointment and that appointment or that TV show and this TV show or that sports event and this sports event, take a few moments. And remember, you are God. And when you might pick something up, maybe think, this is God. You get something in the mail, this is God. And you are God. You are love, peace, and harmony. And let that lift you up as you express all the time, your godness. And see that in others. Thank you. <sighs> now I invite you to relax. Relax some more. I know you relax now. Relax some more. Get comfortable in your chairs. In your places. Being comfortable with your feet on the floor, feeling that connection with Mother Earth. You feel that God energy coming up from Mother Earth through the soles of your feet. Does it feel like a tingle? You feel that God energy coming up further to your ankles. Healing energy, loving energy. Moving up to the lower legs, to the knee areas, the joints. That healing energy, that God energy. All of your joints move easily, strong, comfortable. Any stress is alleviated. That God energy is working with love in your body. Moving up into your thighs and hips. The muscles and the tendons, the bones, the skin is all alive with God, perfect energy. Each cell is perfect. Any discord is alleviated. Any discomfort. It is all God, beautiful, perfect. And that energy moves up over the hips and the abdomen. That healing God energy teeming with perfect health and light and love. Working always with you, your spirit and your physical form. Divine perfection.
moving up into the lower back, the stomach area, the solar plexus, your upper back. That divine energy that is perfect, that is God energy, that is perfect health. Working in the organs, your heart, your lungs, the blood, the muscles, the tendons, the spine. That divine energy going up and down the spine. You feel that, that beautiful God light energy working in your body. That energy moves up to the sh shoulders, the arms, the joints in the elbows and the wrists, fingers, any discord, any discomfort flows away. That God light energy of perfect health is fills every cell of your body. There is no discomfort. Now slowly moving up the neck, over the head, to the crown of the head. meeting up with that Christ consciousness at the crown of our head, that light of God love as we recognize our perfection, we recognize our pure spirit that we are. This light from the crown of our head even brighter and it just flows down our whole body. We are covered in a healing, loving, peaceful light that is the I am. I leave you there for a few minutes to just sit in that showering light of God healing and love. Now, as we bring our awareness back into the room, we feel ourselves sitting in the chair with our feet on the floor, hands comfortable. Take your time, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and when you're ready, you can open your eyes.
Thank you, Barry. And now our special music this Sunday, Doug Adams. Well, Kay proposed a theme a couple of weeks ago of going home. And it reminded me of a song that I heard when I was living in Northern California, out on the coast, driving home from the little town. This one uh, programmer would always end his show with this song. It was sung by Paul Robeson, and it's called Going Home. So I thought I'd learn that for Kay. And then I thought, you know, simple little folk song, I should be able to do that. Then I found out it was composed by Dvorak. <laughs> the words were written by one of his students. But I finally got it, so going home.
Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Barry. Mm -hmm. All right, now our prayer for faith. If you'll speak that with me, please. God is my help in every need. God does my every hunger feed. God dwells within me, guides my way through every moment, night and day. I now am wise, I now am true, patient, kind, and loving too. All things I am can do and be through Christ the truth that is in me. God is my health, I can't be sick. God is my strength, unfailing quick. God is my all, I know no fear, since God and love and truth are here. All right, and our tithe recipient this week is Unity of New Braunfels, so we are grateful for their spiritual support. And now our prosperity affirmation. Divine love as me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, all that I receive, and I am grateful. Father, Father, God, Great Spirit, we are so grateful for these gifts and offerings, and we know that those who give joyfully and gratefully from the heart, for them it is returned tenfold, and we know that all that is here and these gifts, they go out into the world with blessings of love and light. For this and so much more, we do give thanks, and so it is. Amen. Isn't that a pretty slide? All right, so next week, Reverend Helen will be our speaker. And then uh, October 30th, the combined service, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Yay, look at that. There's so Boy. Ah. Oh. Great work. Let go and let God. And then that is who is going to be at the combined service, Dina Marie Efferson. And you can get uh, some more information about her on our website and the CSL website. And she's going to have a workshop afterwards. Uh, the Wellspring is going to be having a crystal bowl sound bath and chakra balance meditation event on October 23rd at 2.30 p.m., followed by a dinner at La Posta. And um, anybody interested, you can call or text Rebecca Rose, and that information is on the newsletter that came out on Friday. So if you'd like to participate in that. Our book study continues, and we are going into uh, the chapter on Hinduism, and we have Carrie, who's going to help us understand that a little better, and Reverend Sandy Scott is also going to be joining us and uh, helping us get through those, that chapter on Hinduism. So we're looking forward to that. And our daily word, Wednesdays, 9.30 to 10, please join us online as we read the daily word and discuss. And let's see, there's not a spirit group this Friday, so the next spirit group will be 
the following Friday, and uh, that's the 29th, I believe, and uh, the spiritual uh, discussion group. So anything spiritual you want to discuss, you want to discuss something from the seven-day service or if another topic, please come and we'll have a lovely discussion. And our Wednesday healing and meditation service continues and we see it growing. And uh, this week, uh, Kathy Styes is going to be leading it. So I invite you all to come and support Kathy and uh, as she does the meditation and healing service. The New Thought Luncheon will be on the 27th. And then I think I saw something and they're gonna go on hiatus until the beginning of the year. So there won't be one in November and December. That's all? That's all. Okay. Until that, all right. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Ken's back. That's another announcement. Yay! Yay. I knew there had to be something else. Thanks, Bob. Yes, thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Mwah. We appreciate your love and support. And we know that Ken supports CSL, and we all just do it together, and it's a great thing. So let us all uh, sing the prayer for protection, and then we'll move into the peace song. <laughs> 